Hey everybody, it's just Kobe again, and I'm here to talk about um, more information from my last video. So my last video, it might have been a little bit misleading on exactly what I said when it came to the intermediate fasting and the liquid diet and everything like that. So here I am today to help clear things up. So I don't want to mislead anyone because I don't want anyone to hurt themselves or anything. Not that the information I gave you before, not saying you would hurt yourself because I wasn't necessarily false in a sense, but as you can see here, I wrote everything down, so I find bad handwriting. So even if I do, I will explain everything um, from what I wrote down. So let's talk. Sorry if the camera angles are a little bit off and you can't see me too well, but <laughs> what I'm saying is that, so to clear things up from my last video, it is actually, believe it or not, intermediate fasting, but from what you could tell, you could probably make a guess. So there is 16 hours of no eating, okay? And then there's eight hours of keto eating. You don't actually eat for eight hours. I'll explain what that means in a second. But when you do your keto eating, it is veggies, healthy foods, fats, and healthy good proteins, okay? Uh, that's kind of an obvious given. So within your no eating window, you only uh, you only consume zero calorie liquids, which means no soda, no nothing with sugars, um, insulin, you know, not even Gatorade. And I used to drink Gatorade all the time, you know, and I don't anymore. So that's a good thing. Um, that's beside, well, that is a good point. And another thing up. to bring up about that is so in your 16 hours of no eating, that is where you have your liquids, right? Like your green tea, apple cider vinegar, water, black coffee. And then within your eight hour window, right? So we can't fast or have any calories. Uh, then that way we train our bodies to burn fat, okay? And so our fastest state is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then I don't eat until one o'clock in the afternoon, right? So then by morning, my body will burn the excess fat from the night before because I didn't have breakfast, if that makes any sense, right? So then if we don't eat, but if we do eat in the AM, our body will not burn the excess fat from the night before. So when you, basically what I'm saying is that when you don't eat, okay, in the morning, whatever you have for dinner that night, that healthy food at eight o'clock at night, which is the second time where you do eat your food you again. Then use the healthy fats from that healthy dinner that you had at eight o'clock at night, and it will turn into uh, energy for the next day. So if you eat breakfast, the problem is, is that you aren't giving your body time to process the fats from your food the night before. And if you add more fats on top of that, or anything that has a lot of carbs from uh, breakfast, that's going to turn into excess fat and not work for you. So does that make more sense? That's where I need to clear things up from last video. So sorry if I didn't do that as well from last we time. Put, we are teaching our bodies to use fat as energy because if you use carb energy, that's like unleaded gas. But if you use fat energy, that's like jet fuel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that should make a lot more sense to so you. Basically to wrap things up, um, like I said again, for me, uh, 16 hour window, nothing but water, black uh, black coffee, green tea, and then also for me, eight hour window, like I said, I eat, I eat at one o'clock and then I eat at eight o'clock, but between one o'clock and eight o'clock, after one o'clock is over, once lunch is over, I don't eat anything at all, I have nothing but liquids yet again, and then I eat at eight o'clock, and then once I'm done eating, I don't eat anything at all, no breakfast, and then I wait until the next day to eat again until one o'clock, so you know that eight o'clock until one o'clock is my, uh, 16 hour window right if you really think about it even knowing that the fastest state starts at 8 a.m see so basically when you don't eat your stomach automatically around eight o'clock or whatever time that is will automatically get into that fastest state and at 10 o'clock you're like oh i'm feeling a little bit good so that's worked for me at eight o'clock you know at first i would be really hungry in the first couple of weeks of doing this but then i noticed after a little bit of time be like one o'clock in the afternoon and i'd be or i'm sorry <laughs> 10 a.m and then one o'clock i'd be like i got more energy let's do this and then that's when i started to notice that my fat was getting used as energy instead of carbs so, you know so that should also help uh make things a lot easier for you to understand as well so 
I uh, hope that it really helped and the video is now officially over. Just wanted to make this a little quack, uh, quack, rip, quick wrap up, <laughs> excuse me, to uh, help you guys um, understand this better and how it's working for me. So, you know, whatever diet plan works for you. If you need any more advice on this, I'll talk to my personal trainer right again to clear some things up. Next video, I'm going to be talking about the different kind of workouts I've been doing with my trainer. It's been helping me lose weight. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next Let's Talk. See you guys later.